This is pure noise. Welcome to Science Theater on the Road. We are at Hope College in Michigan, and I met some friends who actually recognized me, and I'm like, let's do a thing, an episode, whatever we're going to call these, all right? Anyway, so we're going to talk about mixtures and solutions. Basically, we're going to talk about how you break things down into different things in chemistry. We sort things out. Look, this is a P. You can't see it, but 3D. There you go. P's coming at you, all right? So P's are actually... Uh, peas. But if you look at the little tiny atoms and molecules inside there, there's a lot of different ones. So we're going to call that a mixture. So we've got something, say, and we want to break it down into what category is it, okay? Female category, male category, we've broken them down into categories. Weird guy, somewhat normal people, <laughs> other kinds of categories. So in chemistry, we have some set categories. We either have a pure substance or a mixture. And a pure substance has everything in it on the molecular level the same. So I have salt. Pure is the easy one. Pure salt. I pour salt in my hand and good, I chose the salt, not the pepper. And, and we'll film that later up close. It'll be awesome and then I'll cut to it and everything. Salt. Mess on the table. Salt is pure. You take all the little grains of salt and you break them down, break them down, break them down and you find it's NaCl. It's just all that. That's all it is. So it is pure. Water. Water. If I look at water and then I break it down, break it down, break it down to the tiny molecules, they're all water molecules. So we got this from like the sink, so who knows what's in it. But water by itself would be pure. Then there are elements, and I could not find an element in the college uh, caf cafeteria. So just visualize with me oxygen. I know you're so good at visualizing it, although when it's a liquid, it's blue, so that's pretty cool. Uh, or nitrogen, again, that's basically air. But, you know, carbon is black. Graphite in your pencil, uh, steel is a mixture that doesn't work, like iron, you could see there may be some iron. Things like that are elements. If they're on the periodic table, they're elements. Okay, now you're all bored, let's go to the fun part. So if you don't have something pure, what you have is a mixture. Okay, that means two things that are different, and there's a couple different kinds of mixture. We're going to have mixtures like peas and water, right, so good and healthy for you. Uh, it's a mixture because I have water and peas, two different things. I have here milk, all right? Are there different things in milk? Yes. Yes, there are. So that makes milk, everybody, a mixture. mixture. All right, good. We have <laughs> a random salad dressing that poppy he got seed. for it. Poppy seed, thank poppy you. A, a wonderful poppy seed, thank you. I don't taste the poppy seeds. All right, so anyway, this is also a mixture. mixture. All right, say it with me, class. Everybody? Mixture. Okay, we get two different things. So there's two kinds of mixtures. There is a homogeneous mixture and a heterogeneous mixture. And they're really hard to remember. So what you have to remember is like homo means the same. Okay, so if you have a homogeneous mixture, it's stuff that looks the same. Heterogeneous looks different. Hetero meaning different. Okay, so do these two look different? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that is a heterogeneous mixture. All right, basically homogeneous, the easy one to think about it is can you see through it, right? I have a giant eye, maybe we'll do a zoom up on this. We could do a zoom up on your eye later, that would be awesome. All right, so this is clear, you can see through it, so that makes a homogeneous mixture. She's catching on fast. Yeah. Did you get a better grade? Uh, chemistry, I loved it. All right, this is my friend. I don't care about it. We got okay. like the same grade though. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so homogeneous, so, so we've got, okay, we've got um, everything. And then we've got pure substances, I like that sign. And then the mixtures, and the pure substances become elements and uh, just, oh, there were substances, pure substances, I screwed that up, who cares. And then there's the mixtures, which we're really focusing on. And they can be homogeneous or heterogeneous, whether they're the same looking down there or different. But see, this could look like a pure substance, but it's not. It's got pomegranate things in there and fake sugar and all kinds of stuff. Practically healthy for me. Okay, so let's go deeper, because this is where I really have fun, is the heterogeneous mixtures can have different kinds of things. And it comes down to stirring. All right, stirring. I would like you to stir up the peas, and you stir up your milk. All right, and then look at them. If stop stirring, take your spoon out and look at them. Or you can leave it in, I don't care. All right, does that, uh, can you see there's a mixture there? Yes. Yes. Now, is the mixture kind of separated out? Yes. 
All right. Okay, now what do you think of that? Is it separated out? No. No. Okay, so we have things called suspensions, and they are special mixtures. They sit around and they don't separate out. Now, if you stir your salad dressing, right, you, have, you can't even stir the sauce. It's kind of creamy. All right, if we look at it, okay, now you can stop for a second. Put the spoon here, and then it won't get a mess. There we go. Now, is that separating out? Uh, it is. How fast? Um, pretty fast. Pretty fast? Okay, so if it separates out quickly, it's a suspension. Okay, now if it doesn't uh, separate out quickly, this one is a fun one. It's called colloid. Everybody say colloid? Colloid. All right, so let's do it again. We have everything. We have pure substances, uh, which become elements and compounds. I forgot the word. It's compounds. Water's a compound. And then we got this side. We have uh, mixtures into heterogeneous, right? And mixture and homogeneous. Mixture. Heterogeneous, all screwed up. Homogeneous, you can see through it. And then we have the heterogeneous mixtures come down into, this is a suspension because it settles out, and this is a colloid. And you can see, again, they're mixtures because I can't see through them. I'm blind, blind. No, I'm not. I could be okay. Now, this is the bonus thing I'll say before the end, and I'll come back and get you. What's that? Okay, what do you see here? A mixture. Of what? Ice and water. This is ice water. Water that has ice in it and water. Okay, so what do you see? Ice and water. Okay, and so is that a mixture or it is, or is it a uh, pure substance? Is it, is it a compound? A compound. Okay, what do you think? I mean, it's going to eventually... Right, it's going to eventually be a compound, right? That's all going to melt. And so it's tricky. What we do is we break it down in little tiny pieces and break it down, break it down until we get the smallest pieces. And the ice, the pieces of the ice are going to be looking like what? Water. Water. And then the, the liquid break in tiny pieces is going to look like what? Water. The same thing. So it is a compound. compound rocking it. Thank you very much. Anything to say to your chemistry teacher? Hi, Mr. Webb. Miss you. Best chemistry teacher ever. Yeah. Love Hi, you too. Students. My biggest fan, apparently. That's awesome. Go now, Warriors. The, yeah, go Warriors. All the Warriors subscribe. I'll get like a nickel if you watch this. It'll be <laughs> awesome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.